Is that true that crows are coming? Pigeons are uh, being weighted, sharks are worried, and the dolphins are my demand. Sterling is that often boost in urban areas. On the other hand, this habit has caused a friction between them and humans. This is because the area under their roost is covered with fences. In addition, starlings are quite noisy as they fly around in groups, chirping. When if I didn't know any better, I might wonder what is going on. Of course, this is something they do every day, and it is not as if they are predicting the natural disaster. It is also said that in the past, they often roosted on bamboo thickets or a forest. As urbanization progressed, bamboo thickets and the wooded areas were cut down, and new roosts were found. And these were the trees that lie in the streets. I showed the distance down Omotesando Avenue from Harajuku Station. I once witnessed that looked like a crowd circling on the air. The shape was not fixed. It seems to stretch it for a long time, then suddenly change the directions. Call us in the end of a ball and then stretch it out again coming toward us. During this time, there are traps, overlaps, and echo between the buildings. It is a flock of starlings. The starlings are about 25 centimeters long with brown bodies, with cheeks and the waist, and the ranges, legs, and wheels. Also, they have a single spot on their bodies. They are not very common bird in terms of appearance alone. It is also characterized by its short hair, stocky body shape, and the wings that look triangular when I fly it. There are probably several hundred stalling that are flying around. Throwing the gather in boost at night to sweep but they sometimes fly alone in group when entering the roost. The reason for this is not well understood, but crows and other birds also make a big commotion when they enter the roost, so they may be urging their friends and the vicinity to gather here. A large group of people may be able to save themselves and the event on an external enemy, such as all. If this is the case, they will want to gather as many friends as possible. Soon, stalling is also swoop down on a row of trees along the main road and perch it there on a row of bells. It seems that this is a day of roost. The lottery in front of the station is the most conspicuous roosting spot in the city. It may be simply because they are easy to spot, but in fact, there seems to be many of them. Another reason that may be that it is safer for them to roost near humans, where they are less likely to be attacked by foreign enemies. Also, it is difficult to verify that there are sometimes birds that use humans as their guard so that swallows and swallows go out of their way to nest near humans. Sometimes there are birds that are not. Furthermore, they load trucks and highways it should be easy to spot from the sky. This could mean that they are easy gatherings places for starlings. 
it is my impression that from experience that pros often lose near landmarks that can be reached by following a trail, such as a near large railroad tracks. Also, the, the sightings that took place on a winter day, the stalling the flocks that gathering gather on the winter are full of young birds born that year. The first trial for the birds in the winter of the year of the, their birth. In experience, they entered the season with harsh climate the fearing condition. One reason why frogs disappear in the spring is that they disperse to bleed. But another reason is that many of them die before springs. Some of Nostradamus's prophecies may or may not have been on target, but some of those that were missed may have been artificially missed. Prophecies are certainly had the efficacy of avoiding the future calamities, a disaster, sudden the damage or distress causing. If we believe it and them, um, we can prepare for them and simulate what might actually happen. Belief in prophecy is not always a bad thing. In the 1990s, these are prophecies of the end of the mankind were all the rage and were widely covered on television and in the newspaper. The great pumpkin of fear were interpreted in various ways with nuclear missiles, earthquakes, and natural disasters that being widespread spread about and combined with the atmosphere of the end of the century. It seems as if everyone from children to adults believed in this prophecy. However, the prophecies that did not actually come true until July 1999, and the people were relieved. Nostradamus was labeled as a prophet who missed the prophecy and was forgotten by the public. However, Nostradamus said the prophecy is existed as far back as 30597 and there were countless prophecies that seems to have been right on the mark.